Graham, what's your assessment after that? Um, it's, it's, it's tough, tough, tough to take, to be honest. Um, I thought they were excellent. Best team won uh, by far. Uh, they were very good. They're pushing for the pushing for Premier League place at the end of last season, and they will be again next season. Um, I think I believe there's 55 places between the two clubs, and it showed. It did show. Um, but overall, I'm really disappointed with the goals we conceded. Um, I thought we could do far better with them. We give the ball away cheaply, and if you give the ball away cheaply against a team like uh, like that today, you're going to be in trouble. Um, but all in all, we're uh, we're young, we're developing, we're we're, um, we're 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 still a long way off. But uh, that was a harsh lesson. That was a harsh lesson for us to take today. Were you expecting something like that to unfold as it did? Um, I was probably expecting them to have a lot of the ball. Yes, I think I said that last week. I was probably expecting them to have most of the possession, most of the territory. But I did not expect us to concede uh, with the ease in which we did. Um, we had a couple, of, couple, and I'm clutching at straws when I say a couple, probably two, three opportunities. Yes, maybe in a couple of weeks we get a little bit, of, a little bit more sharpness into us. They go in the net. But like I said last week after Rodrum, them big moments in games. Uh, we, we, we had some big moments uh, Rodrum last week, and we had some big moments. Uh, well, one big moment in particular when the ball comes back off the post. We just need that tight to turn. We just need that little bit of sharpness and that little bit of clinicalness in front of goal. Um, get the first goal and, and, and possibly a different game. But make no excuses, make no buts, ifs or uh, They were a class outfit today and they were by far better than us. It's your first competitive game in over half a year. A new look squad. What did you learn in this, your first 90 minutes? Um, without being without being too clever about it, I learned uh, we're, we're, we're still way off, we're still short. I learned we still need uh, organisation, we still need structure. The lads still need bedding in. Um, they need a lot more work. Um, fitness, um, we got through. We, we, we were, it was nice to get probably seven or eight of them through to 90 minutes. And that's, that's the first, uh, I think there was three last week or four last week, and now I've got six or seven today. So all in all, from a squad, probably a, a squad of 16, 17 seniors, I've probably got 10, 11 players over the course of two weeks, 90 minutes. So that's, that's probably a, a plus point. Um, we've, we've learned not to give the ball away against good teams. Um, there was occasions where we've spent 10, 15 minutes chasing the ball, uh, and it was literally 10, 15 minutes chasing the ball, chasing shadows. And we win the ball back and, and, and we're just in a, in a rush to go forward. So we spoke about it in the changing room. I'd like to see a little bit more composure, a little bit more coolness, calmness, um, and maybe a little bit more thought process uh, when we have the ball. We've, we've been chasing. But um, all in all, it's, 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 it's a massive, massive um, kick, rude awakening. It's a massive kick up the backside and it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's a beneficial in the way that we've got some fitness work on, under our belts because we spent a lot of time without the ball and we chased we chased and harried all day. Yeah, I was going to ask you about fitness levels. When we spoke earlier in the week, you said you'd know more after 90 minutes here today what the overall fitness levels were like. What are they like now? Well, as you can see, we kept going. We kept going. We didn't stop. We kept going. Um, we, 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 got a, we got a chase in today. Um, and, and in fairness to us, um, I would say fitness levels are, are, are up there. I'm, I'm relatively pleased with where we were or where we are fitness-wise. So um, that's, that's been a plus point for the course of uh, knowing our work has been, uh, our work has been worthwhile. Um, we now need to go to work on quality. We now need to go to work on attention to detail and the basics of the game. We also need to keep the ball better um, and, and, and be a little bit more clinical in around the, in around the opponent's goal. So we have a lot, a lot of work to do. Just a bit of housekeeping to end off with now here at Deepdale. Uh, Jordan Barry not in the squad today. What's the latest there? Yeah, Jordan, Nicky and Ollie trained this morning. All uh, look, Nicky only came in. Uh, Nicky only came in on Thursday, so that's an obvious one. Ollie, could he have played? He possibly. Jordan Barry, um, league game, he would have played. Just a bit of tightness, just a bit, just just little minor little details, uh, uh, tightness. That's that's all. Jordan will train. Jordan will train on Monday. We've got a couple of games next week. Jordan will play. Ollie Clark, you should see uh, you should see back on the grass next week as well. Hopefully, we get uh, some game time into Ollie next week, um, Tuesday and Wednesday. So um, Nicky's probably uh, two weeks off. So so they were the three, and 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 the only thing as well, another thing I've, I've, we've got to go by and. Uh, 
we've got to add another three players and Nicky Jordan and uh, and Ollie to the squad. So that will strengthen us as well. But um, like I said all along during the pre-season, I know it was a competitive game today, but I don't think at this stage of any season I'm willing to risk long-term injuries. So uh, I'd much rather uh, get through the game today without Jordan, without Nicky and, and, and without Ollie and have them ready for obviously Tuesday, Wednesday this week and Nicky the following week. Appreciate your time, Graham. Brilliant, thank you.